so let's create a new report with the report type that we have created okay or let me just give you a very simple example first let me just give you a very simple and straightforward example understand the example and then we will create a report uh, which will solve the purpose of that example that i'm going to give it to you okay okay so this is my business problem business wanted to see a report on the opportunity object you might have like thousands of opportunity millions of opportunity record in the opportunity object but business wanted to see the reports uh, on top of the opportunity object so let's go and create a simple report okay let's go and create a simple report on opportunity object remember opportunity object is holding suppose a millions of records and i'm going to go and create a new report on top of this opportunity object to filter out the data from this millions of opportunity data right so click on this new report what would be the report type here definitely opportunity select opportunity and click on continue this page is called report builder you as an admin will be able to see this page a lot because you as an admin have to spend all your time here in this report builder page right most of your business user your business user right who will access the report will be able to view the report i mean when you click on the run report button this is the view of the report okay so the business user will have access to this page and you as an admin will have access to the edit page so you as an admin will create the report put it in a folder and share the folder with the uh, particular business users got it okay now let's understand this page in this page if you see here right this this screen this is the preview panel what is that preview panel where in this preview panel you will get to see all the data in the report builder this is where the preview panel where you get to see all the data the i'm creating a report on opportunity so all the opportunity data will come over here in the preview panel left hand side if you see we have two thing outline filters what is filters see report is what is is something which will help you to fetch some needed data if you remember uh, we actually wrote a query in the workbench what was that query doing the in the data loader we had learned about workbench right so what was that query doing the query was actually fetching the data select id name from opportunity where created date is equal to today so this query was fetching the data which was created today like that this is the filter if you put a proper filter based on the filter you will be able to see the report data in the preview panel these are the filter that has already been added let's talk about the first filter the first filter is show all opportunities see if you select show all opportunities what will happen let's say there are 10 business users okay understand this this every single op um, options that you get to see in this page is what you have to understand first because as an admin most of your activities will be there in the report builder business they use salesforce or any crm right to do what to do to get a proper reporting on the data correct so let's try to understand each and everything that we have in the screen so first thing is show all opportunities if you select my opportunity what is going to happen any guess if, what will happen if you select my opportunity versus if you select all opportunities see if you select my opportunity then the logged in user the logged in user name is rajesh right rajesh as the logged in user will be able to see only those opportunity where he is the owner the opportunities owned by rajesh will be coming over here if you select my opportunities then do you think if you select all opportunities you will be able to see uh, see everybody's opportunities no please remember this line and if possible note it down reports will respect the sharing setting that you have in the system what does it mean it means let's say your organization wide default of opportunity is private 
i hope you have remember that story what happens if your organization by default is private public or public read and write so let's say your owd of opportunity is private now not everybody will be able to see everybody's data right so let's say rajesh own few records and few other record has been shared with rajesh with some sharing rule manual sharing or whatever with role hire can so and so so if you select all opportunity then rajesh will be able to see all the data all the opportunity data for which he has access to you getting me you might have millions of opportunity record in the system but rajesh will be able to see all the opportunity that he own or any opportunities that has been shared with rajesh that means all opportunity if you select all opportunity it doesn't mean that you have a security system in the salesforce org but still uh, you know you uh, the logged in user will be able to see all the data everybody's data no that's not going to happen okay so my opportunity all opportunity and we have something called my teams opportunity there is a concept called team opportunity team okay if you enable the opportunity team then you will not be able to see your opportunity but also your team's opportunity okay so i'm just going to go and select all opportunities because i don't have many data here right and uh, here filtered by role suppose you want to see all those opportunity that has been accessed by the coo so search the role and select the role okay if you select done then whatever access um, whatever opportunity that has been accessed by the coo okay those opportunity will be coming here in this report click on filter all opportunity okay so i'm just selecting all opportunities uh, just to make sure that you know whatever data i have it comes in the builder okay done cool now next filter that i have already added is the close date see the close date is something like current financial quarter let me make it all time see the moment i make the all time the moment i change close date to all time check this out i see here many data i have to refresh this that's the thing i have to do it in the lightning view you have to always refresh things okay so i selected the coo that's why i mean there there is no ceo there is no opportunities that has been accessed by the coo right that's why the opportunity uh preview panel had no data okay i'm just going to clear the selections clear only all opportunity has been selected right just click on done so now if you refresh this page you'll see clear selection done refresh you see many records so now these records are actually matching this filters I should have put no filters. Okay, so now if you see here in the preview panel, I can see all the opportunities on a role, opportunity on a name, account name, opportunity name, and so and so. Let's say I don't want to see the on a role. What you do is just click on this and remove column. You have to click on refresh every time, or just click on this update preview panel automatically. Okay, select this, then you don't have to keep clicking on the refresh button. Don't want to see the opportunity honor? Just remove it. So you as an admin, whatever field you see, you find that I don't want to put it in the reports. Just remove it. If you see this page, this page looks like pretty much uh, Excel, right? This page looks like an Excel, where these are the columns like account name, opportunity name, and these are the data. This is called tabular format. This report, what you see in the screen, is looks like a table. right and if you run the report this is the report builder page as an admin you'll see and if you run the report the report looks like this the business user will be able to see this view there are 34 records and these are the data okay and business said hey you know what i don't want to see the next step lead source type you can click on edit if the business user has access to the edit button they can edit or if not then the admin has to go and edit it okay and do you remember i actually showed this in the um, profile session right how can a business user will have access to the edit report button you have a checkbox right in the profile call create and customize reports yeah 
if that checkbox is true for that user the user will be able to go and edit the report as well right so whatever fields you don't want to see just have to click on this and remove column and if you want to get the field back suppose i remove stage let me just remove stage here okay now there is no stage in the column in the preview panel let's say i want to get the stage field back all i have to do is i have to go here and there would be something called stage it's not there then search here stage you see the stage yeah just click on the stage now if you see this particular stage is already it's over here you have to drag and drop it wherever you want to drop next to amount next to close date just drop it see we have stage make sense so this is how you as an admin can go to the filter and put whatever filter you want to uh, put over here and go to the outline and drag and drop the columns that you want to see or you want to hide in the report builder see this particular report if i run correct right, this gives me 34 records i understand but it gives me the data haphazardly suppose the business requirement is business said that i want to see only those opportunities where the stage is closed lost or close own how do you do this you have to go to this edit button and run a filter what will be the filter you have to go and add a new filter here this particular opportunity report doesn't have any filters so it's just showing you all 34 record that you have now i'm going to go and add a filter what will be my filter the filter should be stage name i mean stage equals to okay we have so many operators here stage equals to um close own or close own plus lost you can select multiple okay i'm just selecting close own apply see the change now if you see the report builder now it is just showing me all the opportunities where the stage is close own right now if i run the report the report looks like this you see all the stages are closed own so you have only 18 records with closed own status okay so filter is just to filter the data okay you can put any filter you want like you know close date should be next month so just go here to the filter select close date yeah click on this close date equals to we have like so many operators right and select the type and pick a field right you can actually select by the way date field has functions like yesterday last week next day you see this yesterday just copy this and put it yesterday that's it this is going to give you all the opportunities which has been created yesterday i mean which is uh, where the close date is yesterday i mean there is no record that's what the the uh, report builder is blank but this is how you can actually add the filters i'm deleting this filter okay now i have all the data so i think this uh, tabular format report is pretty much clear like what is the report builder how to put the filters how to remove or add any column from the outline right and once you're done with that you just have to click on the save button to save the report give a name okay uh, let's give it like opp report okay and uh, do you remember we created a folder yeah let's try to save this in a folder called what is the folder i created i think sales report something right so click on this select folder okay and uh, the folder name was sales report that's the folder i just now created right you can create a new folder from here also okay selected it like the folder and save what happened now the report that you just have created named opp report is been saved into this folder called sales report folder i'll just close this okay and go to the report and show you how it looks like you have to go to the report and this is the recent report that you have created if you go to all folders you have a folder called sales report right click on the sales report inside the sales report we have a opportunity report called opp reports and this is the view of the report where you as a business user can view the report like this pretty cool okay you want to refresh the report just click on this button you know sometime what happened 
let's say i have viewed the report and after i i viewed the report a few record has been added in the backend those record will not automatically be refreshed um, over here you have to click on this button called refresh so that you can see the, re the updated data okay so this is all about tabular report a very simple type of report next video i'm going to give an example i'm going to make the same report example little complex to explain the group by report okay see you in the next video